Welcome to DTV with uh, Josh Marnie, who is uh, going to be looking ahead to this week's game against North Melbourne. But uh, first of all, Josh, um, huge win on the weekend against the Crows. It was uh, a timely one after the week uh, the, the club had been through. Um, just how satisfying was that win? Yeah, it was important after the, the week previous that we that we responded and we responded uh, in, in really good fashion. I think uh, it was a record for, for the number of tackles at 83 tackles for the game and I think the response that everyone was looking for was just an, a response with intensity and uh, with intensity looking at contested possessions and tackling and that's where the game started for us. We were able to get the ball inside 50 and then our forward line uh, pressure was, was immense in the game and, and the Crows really struggled to get it out. So a really pleasing game but um, with, a, with a six day break we have to uh, you know, celebrate the win, uh, look at all the positives from it but move on very quickly to this week's game. Be pleased with how the uh, forward line functions as you look over that area. Um, how much did you really work on that area, just uh, the pressure and sort of, uh, and I guess, the score conversion as well? Yeah, we identified that, that John Cock and, uh, and Rutten are very important for their, for their back line. Uh, particularly for their for their run, so as much as we can, we wanted to do some work on them, and and uh, yeah, they play a very disciplined style of play and uh, switch the ball very well, and they they do it very well. Um, so we looked at uh, making sure that we we stopped the influence of those two players and really affected their ball movement, and you know, that was probably one of the pleasing things we were able to to force them to go long down the line, which is not the natural way they want to play the game. I guess the only uh, unfortunate aspect of the game was uh, Jack Grimes and his injury. Um, has he been since uh, the finding out the news that he's going to miss the uh, the rest of the season? I I'm obviously very disappointed. Um, you know, when he, when he first came off with a foot injury, we were hoping that it wasn't anything too serious, and it was just that he's going to miss that game. But you know, to, to hear the news uh, yesterday of, of the the extent of the injuries, uh, particularly from where Jack's come from, he's just. Uh, been very unlucky with these injuries. Uh, first couple of years it was his back and, and now it's his foot and uh, for, for Jackie I know he's very keen because he's just been put into the leadership group. He wanted to have a, a season where he played you know, the majority of, of the games and to now be round seven and to be told that your season's over it's obviously uh, very disappointing for Jack and we all have to uh, get behind him and support him through uh, this tough time. Yeah. And also for Jake Spencer, who didn't play in the seniors, but also his years uh, ruined. He's been showing some good signs in the ruck. Um, how's he been as well? Yeah, it's, it's one of those things that we were talking, we were just looking at our injury list and, and saying it's been great that we've only had probably three to five players on there and and then just in one week uh, you get hit with, with a few injuries and, and uh, for Jake he's been really developing well. Uh, obviously his opportunities have been limited with Mark Jamar playing so well but you know, he's been developing in the VFL. Uh, we've seen him adding some, some real um, extra strings to his, to his bow down at, at VFL level um, and unfortunately again he's going to miss a season but um, you know, he's going to take on this as a Looking positively this season now, he can he can probably focus on a bit like Mark Jamar did when he missed a lot was go and really look at the opposition to uh, ruckman, really get a, a hold on the the actual skill of rucking, and and also maybe put some extra body size on in the gym. So he's already uh, looking at it positively, which is which is really good. Yeah. This week, uh, North Melbourne been a bit of a bogey side for the D's in recent times. Um, how are you over, going to overcome the Kangaroos despite? You know, their form there hasn't been great. There's still a side that really got to watch out for. Yeah, I don't think not a, uh, just a bit of a bogey side. I mean, we haven't, uh, they've beaten us the last nine times. So uh, we have to change that as quick as we can, and we're hoping to do it this week. Um, I think they're playing a lot better than a team that, that have only won one game. Uh, they really pushed uh, Geelong for the first quarter and a half. They played the way they wanted to play, and, and Geelong, in the end, just their big bodies uh, overpowered the, the young side. Um, they've, they've been able to put some young players into the team. Uh, but the guys, they're still the, the key blokes are the same. You've got to uh, stop the influence of Wells, Harvey and uh, Goldstein and, and Swallow are important guys around their midfield. And a lot of our homework is about how we can uh, stop those guys having an influence. What can we expect this weekend? I mean, two weekends ago it was a really you know, poor performance against West Coast, but a brilliant one against the, the Crows. What can we expect this weekend? I think hopefully it's more of the same of, of last week's game. Um, our focus is going to be again on on those the the ones the measurable uh, intensity wise the, the tackles and the contested ball, and we've shown when we do that the rest of our game uh, flows from that. I think uh, what we saw in the, the Crows game as well that our back line got a lot of confidence with our ball movement and we moved the ball the way we want to move it. Uh, we chose the right options out of the back line. We moved it on quickly and and our forwards played on quickly and that's the way we want to play. And we've got to continually be confident in that, even when teams are going to try and slow us down. We've got to uh, work as hard as we can to, to play the way that we want to play as a footy club. 
Well, best of luck for the weekend, Josh. Um, hopefully, uh, no more injuries along the way. But uh, yeah, it was a great win, and uh, all the best for Saturday this weekend. Thanks. Looking forward to it. Good on you, Matty.